Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Esoteric Atlanta. I am so excited to have Sarah Adamson back on the channel for our uh, for our monthly tea read, which is so exciting, guys. And um, before we get into it, though, I just want to go ahead and make sure that you guys that you are subscribed to Sarah's channel. Uh, of course, all of the links will be down in the description box below, because I think what Sarah does is so freaking fascinating and um sarah also offers her services <laughs> you go to her website which is just <laughs> on her youtube page you just click this button right here mm -hmm. and you go straight to her website and you can book your own session with sarah i just think this is so fascinating of course on this channel we love our divination on this yeah. channel but i just think it's so fascinating that sarah reads tea leaves and if you guys we've done two episodes together before this i will put those other episodes down in the description box below in case you miss them so you can see the first introduction so sarah talks about her journey and then we did a february yeah. reading and now yeah. we're here to do a march reading how are you yes sarah? i'm good thank you hope everyone is doing really well it's been a really busy week but it's been a very good week and yeah i'm just really curious to see what's going to come up for march i really am i'm a bit late I'm a bit late on doing my own bi-weekly TV reading. I recorded it a few days earlier this week, but I'm going to be posting that hopefully today or tomorrow, probably at this point this weekend. But I'm just really curious to see what's going to come through for the viewers for the month of March. Because I don't do monthly readings on my channel. I only do bi-weekly. So this is exclusive to exclusive, Esoteric Atlanta. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> and listen, I totally understand about getting videos up, you guys. Running a YouTube channel is really hard. I know it's hard. It's hard. It's it's a full time job to to get your content up, to edit it, to to process it. It it uh, you know, I, I think it. I I work about sixteen hours a day, and it's it's um just for the YouTube channel. Not not that's not including all the yoga stuff outside of it. And it's it's tough. Right. It's hard. And so, girl, yeah. don't feel pressure. Like, okay. <laughs> thank you. Like we're all doing our best. Remember, like you said this months ago in one of your other videos, we still have our own lives. Like we still have to do our own errands. People who are pet, anyone who's a pet owner, we still have to take your dog out, look after the pets, do your errands, do your groceries. There's still things in our daily lives that we still need to do. Yep. So we're just sitting in our living rooms or our bedrooms <laughs> doing the best that we can to record. Exactly. And this is not a Hollywood set. Nope. It's we are we are self-employed basically. And that's one thing I do appreciate, even though YouTube is very compromised by who's controlling it. But the idea of YouTube is actually really genius because they allow you to monetize through commercials. Of course, my monetization is going to somebody else right now um, in a different country. So, um, but the FBI has all that information and um, I must be doing quite well with my AdSense because that person just bought a second home. So- Oh, uh, wasn't well, that intriguing? Obviously, that's I'm intriguing. doing quite well because that's what- bought my So, um, anyway, but uh, you know, I mean, it's interesting, yeah, but I've been assured there will be an arrest. So um, I, I, know, I know there's other things happening behind the scenes, too, with this particular person because they are not. There's worse crimes they have done than uh, steal my AdSense. Let's just put it that way. And the, the other crimes that I'm aware of are way worse. And I, I want th those crimes to be uh, prosecuted first because um, I'm still alive. Exactly that way. So, so yeah. So anyway, and of course I've got I've, the universe has supported me throughout this and I'm doing the ASEA stuff now. It's great. I've got that sponsorship and you know, yeah. so it's all good. It's all good guys. But yeah. It's all good. In the new world, and then I don't want to say new world, the new timeline, the new earth, mm -hmm. a platform like YouTube is fantastic because you get to act as your own producer. And so for people who have, you know, an integral, uh, yeah, I know my channel's being spell casted. I totally get that, guys. That's why I'm shadow banned. It has nothing to do with YouTube. It has everything to do with black magic. Like, I know that. Yep. But that's okay. At least I'm it's cute. <laughs> what did you say when? So many times, like, we're good. We look good. It's on the side of light. We all look good. Yeah. They look we like look shit. Cute. Have you seen the Coven members lately? They look like shit. Not like, lately, to be honest. Like I don't watch any of them anymore. But when my last peek at them i'm like jeez pretty obvious something's going on yeah um one picture i was sent with a head coven member who probably is not female <laughs> hence why this particular coven member likes to say other people are not their gender because you know you point one finger at some person you got three point back at you yeah her boob was falling out like her boob was actually we're, we're we are real women <laughs> just making that comment Listen. collarbone yeah, the collarbone's going up. Yep, see mine go up. Yep, that's female. 
It's female collarbone. Very well, but mine is there. Men go out to the side. So that's one thing. So yeah, so you don't need divination, guys, to know if somebody is the gender they were born into. First of all, why the fuck do you care? Like, that's my thing, too, is like, if someone wants to change their gender, as long as they're not hurting anybody else, and they're not grooming children, then why I have no care? issue... I have no issues yeah. with anyone doing whatever they want to do as long as they're not hurting anyone else. And I've always said, like, love who you want to, you know. Yeah. I, I don't I, care. I, listen, my my best friend is gay, and my best friend started to. He he's Canadian as well. He liked Mister T before I did. Wow. And he's gay. And and listen, he's had way more successful relationships than I've had. You know, it's it's not uh, exactly. I'm just I'm I'm kind of like I'm I'm like live and let live. Like as long as listen, you do you boo. As long as you're not hurting anyone exactly. or forcing anyone, coercing anybody, then if you exactly. want to run around naked in the backyard and worship fairies, listen, sounds like a good time. I might join you. You know, like <laughs> I have some great fairy fairy music that we can play while that's taking place. Like I love the fairies. I yeah, I mean. It's totally cool. As long as you're not hurting anybody, like that's what makes the world go round. But when you start, so as far as like the, the transgender thing, like oh. live and let live, as long as they're not hurting anybody. And as long as they're not trying to indoctrinate anybody or they're not being, and that goes for straight people too. Like straight people can indoctrinate and groom children too, you know? So, so I'm just, yeah. that's just bad behavior all around. But oh, absolutely. biologically for there are things, even if you go on like hormone treatment or, have surgery there are certain things in the physical body that will always be giveaways one of them is the mm -hmm. collarbone so you don't need divination for this if the collarbone goes up in a v like this it's a biologically a female so i am biologically a female because my collarbones go up like this if collarbones go straight across that's a biological male wow oh. i learned that from watching you i learned that from what you had shared in one of your videos there's a really great channel. I think it's on Bit Show to Rumble, and I can't remember the name of the channel. But for it's a bi it's a girl who is um she keeps her face off screen, but she is a biologist, and so she breaks down looking at people's structures, whether or oh, not goodness. they are male or female. There's also the way the arm. You can't see us on camera to really point it out because we sit behind us. But the the arm length according to the hips is also, and I can't remember what specifically it is. But I remember measuring it with my boyfriend and it was true what she had said, like men's arms will come to a certain point at a hip where a woman's arms will hit differently on the hip. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and so there are different biological markers. But with the collarbone, a lot of times you can see that anyway, because we're on camera and you can see that part of us. But mm -hmm. so you don't need tarot cards or a pendulum to know if somebody is a male or female. Just look at their collarbones. Yeah. And then and why do you care? As long as you're not in a room with <laughs> If you're getting into a romantic relationship with someone, you might want to know if their wiener is really theirs or not. But, but, um, but uh, you're awesome. I would want to know that. Like, is that a real? <laughs> yeah. So a lot of important detail to know. Yes, yes. But, uh, but other than that, like, whatever, you know. So anyway, but all right, Sarah. So, so as a, we're a little, little. Uh, <laughs> I'm turning just the here. normal conversations that one has. I it's just I love good. these conversations. So anyway, but uh, yeah, we are much cuter on this side of the, because uh, my, my friend Cindy, I, I, she's on Sacred Garden Yoga. She comes from a Peruvian line of shamans. And she said many oh, times that oh. whether you're practicing black magic or, or white magic, the magic has to come through you first. So that's oh. why people who practice, practice black magic start to look really haggard. I mean, Makes one sense. of the victims of this coven that's entrapped in this coven looks like he's aged 20 years since I last saw him. And that's really sad. That's really sad. That's really sad. I mean, we're, yeah, we're all different. We all have our own choices to make, but I mean, things happen, but that, that's just really sad to hear yeah. that. But I mean, it makes sense though when you stop and think about it. It's one of those things that you don't think about, but it makes sense because if it is coming through, it doesn't matter if it's like a Reiki healing or, or energy healing session and still comes through the practitioner. The client still has to physically, not physical, but energetically comes through your physical being to go to your, in that case, a client. So that does make complete sense. Yeah. And for anybody who's stuck, I hmm. mean, this coven is now multiple people's handlers. They have, you know, there are a lot of truthers out there that now have a handler. And this, the head of this coven is on so many channels that she now kind of runs now and she's their handlers. And, you know, we have to have empathy for them because, uh, we don't know. Listen, I know how dangerous they are just from my own experiences. 
And for these people that have gotten stuck in a situation, we do have to have empathy. And I think that's why a lot of them look really rough right now. Like they've aged 20. I mean, this, the one person I'm thinking of isn't that much older than me and looks like he's aged like 20. Like he looks like an old man. He looks like a grandpa now and he's not. So that's, that's um, just shows you the stress that he's under. So we have to have some sort of empathy. Yes. They, they made their choices. Yes. You know, you got it. You made your bed. You got it. That's karma. You have to lie in that bed, but we can still, for those of us, we can still have empathy you know, because this is a dangerous coven. They are out for blood. Um, they they do, in fact, do. That's why they do do blood rituals. That's why the head of the coven knows so much about mm. these rituals. So, anyway, on to onwards and upwards. On that happy note, <laughs> at, least, at least we look pretty. At least we look good. So we look good. We look good. We're pretty. And where I am, we are now in another winter storm warning or advisory or something. If you look at the map of southwestern Ontario, it's like shades of gray and red like yay yay more snows on the way it's <laughs> ready great. to hop the border and come down to georgia i know y'all just just hop just hop the just hop the border just do it uh, you know because it's it's raining today but we're we're pretty it's, it's already back to you know being warm here so it, it we don't really our our winter is like a day and it like turns around oh no we're in for another few uh 10 centimeters about another four inches or so tonight for where we are apparently so oh god if we got that down here all the old all, all the bread and water would be sold out of the piggly wiggly and everyone would be thinking the apocalypse was coming so <laughs> just yet another day up in up in southwestern ontario just yet some more snow <laughs> ready to hop the border though i'm ready to come yeah, come on down to georgia we got we got that's why that's why I, for, for, seriously that's why they say southern accents like can talk a little slow sometimes because it's so damn hot down here that people just developed a very slow way of talking because it's so fucking hot half the time that they just, uh, you know, it's too much to talk fast. So, you know. Yeah. All right. Well, Sarah, Great. should we get to it? See what yes. the teams have to say for our collective about the month of March? Absolutely. I'm just reboiling the water. I boiled it a few times a minute ago, a few minutes ago. But I'm just, like, going to reheat the water just so that it's nice and hot because, like, lukewarm water... It works, but better we want when it's spicy. Hotter. We want it potent. Well, you haven't. We, we're using chai tea today, so funny that you said spicy. <laughs> Where's the package? I took the package. Took off the thingy. Oh, anyway, India, it is chai India there too. Yeah, and I, you're. I love that you have your like boiler right there. My granddad, who came through when Sarah did a reading for me on camera, he actually came through. But when I was a little kid and went spend the night at their house, my granddaddy. Yeah had like the pancake maker by his seat at the kitchen table. And so he oh, would that's... sit there and make, so it reminds me of that. Like he would make the pancakes oh. and throw pancakes <laughs> down the table at his grandkids while he was sitting right there. So you talking about that makes me that's think. Cool. Yeah. Some, some, some good witches use cauldrons. Some of us use, use uh, kettles to boil the water for tea. It's all, all good. <laughs> as long as it makes fire, as long as it makes fire. You know, there's fire and the, there's a fire in that water. There's a heater. It's all good. It's, just, it's almost ready. While you're boiling, that, I'm speaking of making fire. I'm going to actually burn some sage because oh, I did yeah. not. I sprayed my Florida water. But I have some. I just have to spray it now. The Florida water. I'm just going to light some sage. I need to get a new sage six stick soon. But um, mm. just so that we make sure that the space is clean. Yes, we know energy is not confined to a specific place. Energy can nope. be fluid. Um, right now, even though Sarah is up in Canada and I am down here in Georgia, we are sharing the same energy right now. And that's one of the most beautiful things about this great awakening, I think, is that people Absolutely. are starting to understand how energy works. So I'm just going to clean oh, this absolutely. space and I'm going to ask for Michael and Gabriel and all all your your homeboys, all of every angel, our homegirl, every angel that can come in. I'm going to call Magdalene, Yeshua, Odin. Yes. Goth, um, all all the beings of light that are here for our highest good, for Sarah's highest good, for the collective's highest good. If you guys consent, of course, um, I to consent, of course, yeah, and protect the space, protect the reading. Um, if there are any nefarious mm -hmm. beings that are in our equipment or watching right now that should not be that wish to do harm, human or otherwise, I ask that all of the beings of the greatest highest good come and remove those people. And I also mm -hmm. revoke permission. For the darkness to use any of my wounds as an entry point, you do not have permission to use any of my weaknesses as an entry point 
you have to leave. Thank you so much, Magdalene, Yashua, Tho, uh, Thoth, Odin, all the angels. Thank you for being here and helping us clear that space. Thank you. It's beautiful. Okay. Okay. So is everyone ready for their TV feeding for March? Let's hear it. Okay. So and while so, she's doing that, I'm just going to say this is a general reading. Take yes. what resonates. It might be yes. multiple mes messages coming in for multiple people. Um, mm -hmm. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Absolutely. Yeah. Entertainment purposes only. Take what you take what you will. Leave what you don't. As you just said, some or all of the information, some all or none, may apply. This is just a general reading. That's what makes it so fun. It is. We can hear all sorts of different stuff coming through. I know. It's so interesting. Like you never know, and this is what I've said to other people too. Like with TV reading, you never know. And this, I, I don't mean any degrading to oracle cards or any other form of divination. I love tarot, but you never know in any reading what's going to come through. You, no. you never do. And TV reading is just the same. And again, this is a looking the way that I myself read is looking into the future. So possible free future outcomes based on the present situation. Time and events can change. We all have free will. Take what you will, leave what you don't. But you never know what's going to come through. I mean that in the, the most positive way. We have some of the coolest, most loving subscribers. I hate using that word, but um. So if there's, you know, we love that. I know I, I'm not saying we like I'm the one doing it, but I know that I love to be able to have a platform where we can hopefully have a place if somebody needs to hear something because there's a great quote be be kind always because you never know the battle somebody is facing and so hopefully yeah. for whoever's watching right now there's a message that spirit wants to tell you and, and hopefully it will come true and if there is no message for you that's fine maybe next month there will be um absolutely it may even be for a friend of someone who's watching so even if if you yourself are watching and it, nothing really resonates but you hear someone and you end up speaking with one of your friends you're like, well, wait a second, that may, it may apply to them. It's 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 no different. It's not, it's really yeah, we're all here, here to help each someone. other. Yep. And um, sometimes if you don't get the message this month, sometimes no news is good news. You know, sometimes yep. you're saying it's fine. Just hold on. Absolutely. So I have the tea here. I swirled it, setting the intention for the month of March. It's a general reading. And yes, I mean, I'm just going to turn it clockwise. Usually it's three times, sometimes it's four. And years ago, like I always thought it, with tea leaf reading, you had to do it um, face to face in the same room. I actually had a potential client years ago, like over 10, a good 10 years ago, who was living in the States. And she said, can I have a tea leaf reading? At the time I said, no, because I didn't think I could do it. And then 2020 rolled around. I'm like, it's divination. It's going to work. Yeah, it works. Energy is energy. Energy is energy. But that was my journey that I went through. And you learn as you go. You really do. Oh, absolutely. It's an evolution. And it's all, if, if you've learned everything you need to learn, then that's it. You leave, you know, and that's, so we call, we call that death, but you know, we don't know there's really no such thing as death, but, um, no. but you know, no. so if you're still here, there's still things to learn and it still means that some of your best, some of your best days haven't even happened yet. And so that's, that's exciting. Beautiful. It is exciting and it is so, so interesting. I'm always seeing new things. I'm always learning new things. Most often when I, when I ever read for a client, I'm always seeing something new, a new grouping, a new, and I'm seeing new things lately as well. Oh, wow. Busy month. Okay. Sorry. So um, yeah, I'm always learning new things constantly. It's, it's interesting that way too. It always helps you, prepares you for the next, the next reading. Okay, I so should we aim? It's a busy month. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, pardon? I love that it's a busy month. I took one look. I'm like, geez. Okay, so these are the tea leaves. I'll send you pictures after. So hopefully everyone can see it. Yeah. Busy. And I haven't even really looked. I just did a quick, oh gosh. So that's just to show the leaves. So I'm ready if you are. Let's go for it. I'm going to put okay. you on the screen, girl. Okay, now did you want to? How long do you want to do this for? How are you for time? Do you want to do like half an hour or? That sounds perfect. Let's do about half an hour. And if you go a little over, that's fine too, or a little under, no big deal. You just say what you need to say. Okay, perfect. Now, would you be able to maybe like let me know roughly around the 15 or so minute mark just so that I can sort of gauge Absolutely. myself? Is that okay? Absolutely. 
I'm just going to raise my, my new ring light that came in. I'm going to up it so I have a bit more light here. So my apologies if I start looking washed out, blinding myself as I'm sitting here looking at this ring light. Okay, better. Okay, everyone, let's take a look and see. Now, as a quick, very quick reminder, everyone reads completely differently. That's all good. The way that I myself read is chronological. So now, on the way and later. The rim is the present situation. The sides are in the way. And the base is more of the distant future. So this is all like happening month of March. And the base is, to me, the end of March looking into April. That's just how I'm approaching it. Okay. There comes the top of my head again. <laughs> okay, so looking at the rim. The beginning of this month is going to be fairly quiet, I would say. So there's likely one main event or situation or one main scenario or whatever word or words you want to use that's taking place at the start of the month where we may be happy that, th that things are calm and clear and quiet. We're happy with that. Not much is happening. We're good with that. And or we wanted to get moving. So I always try and use the positive words and positive expressions. You could also say feeling stuck or stagnant. I flip it by saying we want things to get moving a bit more. Same thing. So there could be that feeling of where we're sort of like, when is this situation going to start changing? I want things to get moving ahead a bit more. That is showing, this is showing that there's going to be uh, one main area. That applies in one main area or event or, or scenario taking place. Having said that, though, there are a few other smaller scenarios. So simply said, gold, silver, silver, and a few bronzes. That's just one way that I need to quickly and easily describe it. So there's going to be a few smaller events or scenarios taking place um, where things are definitely busier. However, for the most part, there's that one area that we're sort of either frustrated or we're happy with, but it's quieter. But that is definitely going to be, going to be changing. And I'm going to do a quick overview, then I'll go in more detail. So that's yeah, this is going to be a busy month. That's definitely going to be changing. So the quieter scenario it's like preluding. This is interesting. I mean, this might mean about half about all these new things. It's it's a prelude. It's hmm. it's quiet now, but when things do begin to take place, and this is a layout that I often see where we have this one main event or situation. That's just what I call it. One main focus, one main area, one major thing taking place. This is this. The quietness encompass leads to that, but also another quiet time. It's almost like it is it's related to this main event or scenario taking place, but it's almost like it only refers to like how about half of it, and then the other half is going to be fairly quiet. And I hope I'm describing that correctly. I hope that makes sense to people. If not, yes, and for <laughs> for our audience watching, if that doesn't make sense to you, it might not apply to you. But for other people, that probably because I know when Sarah did my reading, there were things she said that I was like, "Oh my god, absolutely, one hundred percent, I knew what she was talking about." So when it hits you, it hits you. So that, yeah. Thank you. And again, tea leaf reading is a quick, one quick, one very quick reminder. The way that I describe it is it it, it describes events. The way that I describe describe tea leaf reading is is that it describes the qualities and or characteristics of events or situations likely to occur. So I'm literally just describing what I'm seeing rather than saying tree, fairy, person, walking. No, I'm telling you what I'm describing to you what, from what I'm seeing. Okay, so moving on. There's likely something taking place at the beginning of this month. It may involve a female with dark hair and possibly with a prominent nose. It may also be related to a house or property of some kind. And this would be, I always describe whenever I see people in here, I always say it's like a, it's, it's helpful, helpful people. So this is a good, a good female. Yeah, I only do good. That's what I say. So again, it's always a take what you will, leave what you don't, but I only do the good. So, so a good okay. female with a prominent nose and dark hair. And this could even be a departed loved one. So again, everyone, please take what you will and leave what you don't. <laughs> okay. The overall event or situation taking place, it, it's, it's about half of the cup. So this is definitely a significant 
thing taking place. This is a, definitely a, a significant event or situation taking place. There's like one main root, one main core, one main part of it. It does have one, I don't know, do you want to get one, two, one, two. It has about two different parts to it where things are definitely calmer and quieter, where there's more talking and thinking or conversations and discussions and thinking are taking place. But for the overall, for the most part, we're going to know where we stand with things. And at the same time, there's a lot of unknowns. There's a lot of surprises. And the reason I'm, I'll just quickly briefly show. The reason I'm saying that is because if you look here, you can see how tightly grouped there are. There's many different images in here, very tightly grouped. When I see tightly grouped images, this is just me. I just say it's a surprise. We're not supposed to know right now. There's just a lot of surprises in the way. Because, however, they are also very clearly formed. We know where we stand, but there's also surprises. So. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, okay, so going forward, there's a short, a very short period of time before this present moment when we're recording this to, or when people are watching this, to this scenario starting to take place. Um, I've had to put a guess on it. It's just maybe within a matter of a few days of it actually taking place. Definitely. Um, okay. There's a, there's, I'm going to say that there's a reminder here for all of us to pace ourselves because there is so many things happening in here. And whenever I look at this and I go, where do I start? Just pick a place and go with it. Okay. This is a reminder just to pace yourself. Take your time. Remember, don't be overwhelmed. It's one thing at a time. It's one step at a time. So that might be another reminder for someone watching. There is a, there's a horse here. So horses for myself can represent, uh, can indicate, um, possibly travel action speed movement vitality things going ahead very quickly very easily which makes sense with this cup but there's also definitely a sense of getting things organized and action with that getting things sorted out whatever way she performed that may be but there is this the speed this this connection with speed and things taking place and really going for whatever it is for whatever it is that you want to have but also getting things straightened out getting things straightened out uh with 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 gusto you could even say that does have multiple parts to it specifically, multiple things associated with that. That is connected to a new opportunity that's being presented at the very start of the month. It's a new opportunity. There may be some conversations regarding that specifically, possibly money. And it's a really good scenario. It, it, again, this is all like tapestry and a quilt. These are all patches and a quilt, but each individual scenario comprises this entire event. So this is helping specifically to create this really good new opportunity. It's actually a form of a partnership, but I mean, not be completely obvious at the time, but it is a form of a partnership and it is starting to form. It does look very positive. There may be a Cancerian connection with this. So whether this is someone who is that sign or the qualities of like home, nurturing, self-love, self-care, psychic ability, emotional, things along those lines. Very heart-based, very loving, very nurturing. It's a new start. Again, there's a female with, with dark brown hair or dark hair. Yes, it's chai tea, but there's different colors in the tea. Um, this one, def this lady does also have dark hair. This may be someone watching or maybe someone else that's being referred to. They're also maybe indicating here uh, indications of messages, news, and or information about the home and or family. But again, this is all about the partnership, the new beginning, self-love, things along those lines. Again, there's this, this, this new sense of a new beginning, new creative projects, new ideas. Nothing has, uh, th there's, there's these new opportunities that are being discussed. And for the sake of not being repetitive, I've seen three, three brooms <laughs> um, so far. So I'm, um, rather than me consistently saying, because I'm probably going to see it again, I'm guessing at this point, there's getting things organized, sorted, cleaned up, tidied up, whether that is like physical cleaning your dishes, physical cleaning your purging closets, fridges, papers, doesn't matter. It's some form of an organization, getting things organized and tidied up. I won't say that again, because I keep saying it, but see that for what you will. Yeah. 
some people may be thinking of moving. Um, if so, it looks like, yes, it's looking good. It's just maybe not the right, not ready to quite take place, but it is for some people probably, probably most likely being contemplated. It's on the way. It's just not quite ready at the beginning of the month. But it's in the works for people. It's definitely in the works. It looks very solid. It looks really good. It's just not quite time yet at the start of the month anyway. Okay. Um, there's a cute baby duck in here. So for baby ducks, um, any form of a duck really, um, for me, that means reassurance. That's just what it means to me because ducks thrive land, water, and air. They can fly, swim, walk, they're good wherever they go. So there's that's definitely a good point. Uh, that's Sorry? a good point. That's it. That ducks can survive. They can do anything. They can, they're good everywhere they go. So that's just one, that's just, again, what ducks mean for myself. They're good everywhere they go. So it's a reassurance that it doesn't matter what is taking place. You're fine. Which is nice. true anyway. But I it's just, nice to hear okay, that. So I just I just learned some mad respect for ducks. So <laughs> <laughs> and they're cute. They quack. They're cute. Yeah, <laughs> they're cute. But there's definitely a good, maybe even a playfulness regarding reassurance at the beginning of the month. It's all good. It really is a matter of perspective. So glass half full versus glass half empty. Gosh, there's just so much in here. It sounds to me, and Sarah, you can correct me if I'm wrong. I'm picking up all these pieces. It sounds like for whoever this is for, there is a lot going on. And oh, yes. it might feel very overwhelming. And, and maybe that person might be second guessing because so much is happening at the same time that they feel like they're being pulled in many different directions. But universe 100%. is saying, it's okay. Just keep it's going. Okay. With it. All the face, uh, pieces are going to fall into place. Absolutely. 100%. I'm glad that you said that because that reminds me to say that I didn't say that we're going to be able to focus on, for the most part, this scenario, not be pulled in any other direction. It's going to be all encompassing enough. So there may be a couple other things taking place, but really, you just don't worry. You're going to be able to focus on what you need to focus on. Don't don't worry. But there really is positive action forward, positive movement going forward, going for whatever it is that you want to have, not feeling inhibited, intense protection intense protection and there's definitely abundance and prosperity regarding all of this what i've just said um that's being present presented at the beginning of the month um some people may be in a romantic relationship or considering it a little couple smooching um so well, that's so fun. that's great <laughs> we love a couple smooching <laughs> <laughs> to a cup city <laughs> um it's all good so there may be cups coming <laughs> ace of cups so far i would say we're at the two of cups territory we're not quite at I have seen Ace of Cups moments. We're not at a home base, a home run. Is that what we said in high school? Or we're not a home run yet? <laughs> like Whatever, whatever. Yeah, exactly, exactly. We still love it. We love a love story. <laughs> love stories are always a good thing. Yeah, there may be a Scorpio connection or simply said, if it's not a Scorpio, there's a new beginning or someone who is a Scorpio, but there is a new, a new start regarding everything that I've just mentioned and this is all at the start of the month. Um, and there also may be now and over in March. So this could be referencing either um, Aries or Taurus, there may be an Aries or Taurus connection in whatever way she perform that may be, but more than anything, I'd say a Scorpio connection. So new beginnings going within there's certainly abundance and, Trees for me represent abundance and TV feeding. So um, there's trees in here at the beginning of the month. There's abundance and prosperity taking place. And also indications of it furthering ahead. So it's starting off maybe as a smaller partnership, but indications that it's going to continue to unfold. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of speed though. And again, this is amazing that it started off very, like very quiet quietly on the rim and then I'm seeing like a lot of like horses so again for me that means that things are going ahead very quickly things are taking place there's a lot of action and momentum can I so, just say that whoever's reading whoever this reading is for I am so I just see like this is a great reading I'm so happy for whoever this is for because if yeah. it's it sounds it sounds like the beginning of a romantic comedy and like it I'm just <laughs> yeah. I'm so all these new opportunities coming in, plus the smooching on the side. Like it just, I'm just like, <laughs> I'm loving this. I just, whoever this is, like, I am so happy for you. 
it it's looking really it's looking really good i'm happy for them too i mean oh there's just if there's horses there's a horse jumping and there's trees and happy faces uh, there's nothing stop there's nothing there's no inhibition it's going forward very easily so i'm i'm happy for them too i really am i mean there's there's happy faces in here there's multiple happy faces which it's a good thing it means that there's things are going well and we're happy with the scenario scenario new beginnings there's a reminder to call on your angels should you wish to you also say that angels are present but there's positive movement forward there's nothing there's nothing there's people running there's people jumping there's horses jumping people walking people dancing people moving there's nothing standing in anyone's way there's no like stagnation that i'm seeing at the start of this month there may be like momentary setbacks yes but that's that's sort of life too. Um, so maybe just if that happens, just take some time out for your own self care, but just know that you have so much infinite protection from source creator divine around you. Just call on that if you, if should you wish to um, just, it's, it's, again, it's a matter of perspective whenever we feel like that, obviously too, like you can honor, honor your emotions. I'm not saying no, don't, but just also know that you have divine protection to call on source creator. If you want, if that's what you wish, but there's a lot of protection that's being shown here. And Sarah, we're, really at the, good, yeah. we're at the 15 minute mark. FYI. Good to know. I'm, I'm still at the top. So it's good to know. Thank you. <gasps> I'm just up here. Top? That's amazing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mark. This is a summary. I mean, we listen, can. Listen, that's you, easy enough. This is for I want you to write a novel when this is done because it sounds like your life is about to go into a whirlwind and it sounds like you're going to be overwhelmed and, and maybe waiting for the other okay. shoe to drop, but spirits saying the other shoe's not going to drop just, and if you feel overwhelmed, call on your guides because they're there to help you and calm you. And absolutely. I mean, there's a lot of, uh, there's a cross in here and there's, I keep saying there's two dragons. So, uh, so far for me, dragons are like for my own self are like extreme protection, extreme love and loyalty and protection crosses for myself represent very similar to is that is that t as well so it's just really a matter of perspective calling your help but it's it's going to be good it, there's nothing to worry about um that i'm seeing it's all looking very positive unconditional love support loyalty loyalty and commitment playfulness having fun um much of what I, i've already said positive and forward open communication between two individuals This is a little ways down. This is probably around the middle of the month or so. Definitely playfulness, going ahead with things, open communication. It's a very positive scenario. Lots of helpful people around. Some people may even be experiencing a pregnancy. Now, this is could be an actual physical child. It's so wonderful. If not, it could be representing new creative projects, new beginnings, creating something new, new beginning, making new things. And person, place, or I've seen the letter E a few times. So there's people, places, or things with the letter E that's involved, um, especially regarding that pregnancy or the new creative project of some form. Um, there's a, a letter E involved with that as well. And it just, it's, it just looks really, really good and cute. Um, there's a surprise with that too. And maybe some even, and it's also uh, possibly the letter G that's involved. And even possibly the way it's formed, two new opportunities being contemplated, two new options, two new opportunities. And there may be some money involved with that as well and helpful people around that. Keeping your thoughts very clear and positive, things are going to happen very quickly, which we know. Keep seeing a Scorpio connection. So it's 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 not timing involved. It's, it's re referencing either the qualities of that sign or someone who is that sign. And again, uh, Aries. So March, March. Uh, so Aries or Taurus as well. I know we're in March, but I keep saying like Taurus or Aries connection more so than Scorpio. Could the Scorpio connection also be a moon sign for someone because moon sign okay. is in the yeah. inner world? So that might be how you're, you know, like I'm a Scorpio moon and that's why I'm, oh. I'm an Aquarius is my, 
and Aquarians usually detach, but Scorpio, my Scorpio moon is very emotional. So it could be coming from just wanted to put that out there that it could possibly yes. even how, how you're perceiving the situation. Absolutely. People have asked me similar questions before about, well, does it, could, could that mean something or could that mean something else? And I always say, yes, I, I have no idea. It absolutely could be. I'm not God. I, I have no idea. I'm not going to say yes or no, because I, I don't know. It absolutely could be. Absolutely. Possibilities are limitless. 100%. Abundance and prosperity, partnerships, new beginnings. There, if people were th are still thinking of moving, it may it looks like it may be more sorry more clear. Sorry, God's saying yes, more clear around the middle of the month. And there's op opportunities around that, multiple of them, but it looks like a very good scenario. And in, yes, it's regarding a house, but it's also sorry for the phone. Um, it's also regarding the partnership of some kind. I mean, that could even be the realtor but or lawyers but there's a partnership regarding that sorry for the music in the background no i i, I hear i see when the phone rings like that in readings i see that as being very serendipitous that it's god oh absolutely yeah. I, I, when, when, yeah i'm glad that you think that too yeah. whenever i hear readings or yeah, yeah. I, I always say oh that's god saying yes yeah that's what i always say like god, yeah. god saying yes because how often do we hear landlines anymore you know like that's totally hardly ever, God <laughs> it's really bad. Hardly ever. Um, again, unconditional love, support, loyalty, and commitment. Cute little puppy dog face in here. Coming down further. There's just so much. Coming down further. Person, place, or thing. <clears throat> Excuse me, with the letters. <clears throat> Sorry. A and or W. And or C, A, C, and W. Definitely the letter W, very clearly. And that's related to some kind of, almost like a, something, like you said, serendipitous, something magical, something unique, something that's undefined, something that's, there. there's like a, like a genie in the lamp is what I'm seeing. That's why I'm saying, I've like never seen that before. So I'm like, okay, like, what do I say? What does that mean to me? It means something magical and unique and different, exciting an exciting opportunity, something that comes from completely left field, that kind of scenario. And that's where the A, C, and W is connected to. And there's a new opportunity regarding that. And it looks very positive. And there's three people communicating. One maybe maybe not as involved in the communications, but there's people communicating about that. And it looks like it results in some discussions, maybe even some money. And it, there's multiple people involved in that scenario specifically. Um yeah, handling the goat. Yeah, okay, so there's possible additions to the family and our money, which I keep seeing. I keep I've seen the children three times now, so that could be an Ace of Cups moment. I suppose well, that's right. how we get children is an Ace of Cups moment. So right. this may be post Ace Ace of Cups, but um, <laughs> that smooch in my that's how yes. the smooch in my end up with. Hey, you never know. The smooch would look pretty innocent, but. I've seen more than two. I've seen more extreme than that in two D three D. Yeah, yeah. There's there's a heart at the as, yeah. So there's definitely a loving, harmonious scenario. Now, whether that is romantic love or other form of love, in terms of like a harmonious scenario, but there's definitely a loving energy throughout this month. Just towards the bottom of the cup here. Personal place or thing with the letters with the letter H and or the number four that's involved. Again, the letter W. Again, new beginnings, a lot of conversations. Um, personal place or thing with the letter K that's likely taking place towards I'm I'm jumping around, I'm sorry, towards the beginning of the month, second week or so maybe of March or in the middle of the of the month. There's just a lot of surprises. There's a lot of no one, but yet unknowns throughout the month. Um, again, the letter W, I keep seeing the letter W. Going down further, number seven, it's like the God number, as Tamara says, going down further. Again, not, not being inhibited. A new, opportun a new opportunity is going for whatever it is that you want to have. I would just say to, to people, just please don't 
be overwhelmed, just one step at a time. Looks like it's going to be a very hectic energy, but very, very positive, like a lot of things. It may be very easy to get, to get caught up in things too, potentially. But really going for whatever it is that you want to have. Person, please, or things with a letter J that's involved. It looks like a very positive scenario. That's good. A lot of Aries and or uh, Taurus connections. Again, these could be people and or the, the qualities of those signs. Keep seeing that throughout here. A lot of working. Now, now we're heading into the base. So this is at the, like, the end of the month heading into April. It looks like whatever this scenario is, it looks like it does continue into the end of the month and into the next month. And I say that because if you look here, you can see how the leaves literally flow into the base. Well, yeah, and it sounds like whatever this is, this is going to be pretty life changing in a positive way. In a very positive way. There's I'm a lot happening, but it's very I'm good. excited for who I know it sounds like it's going to be overwhelming for whoever's going through this, but it sounds like it's like going to be amazing. And God it say, does. just chill out. I've got you, you know? Absolutely. There's a personal place to thing with the letter S towards the end of the month. So I'm looking like right at the base now. And also the number three helpful. There's a helpful, helpful people regarding the number three. So again, I'm not, a, I'm new, no, 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 not a new world. I'll just take that for what you will. The number three is present. Helpful people regarding that. Again, positive movement forward, communication between people. I see another heart. So a very loving scenario. Number three, again, people in close communication, almost ready to take a leap of faith. It looks like going for whatever it is that you want to have. It's a very yeah, loving. Yeah. 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 I think some people are going to be, which makes sense, but I think some people may be having a romantic relationship. There's two people looking, looking at each other, little dog's face, standing on the dog. It's like they're ready to take a leap of faith. We love it. With a heart. Movement forward. It looks like some people may be in for a relationship. That's so exciting. <laughs> That's exciting. Yeah, like, I, love I love love. I love, listen, I don't like reading romance stories. I like my murder mysteries, but I love love stories. <laughs> listen. Love yeah. stories are great. They're the most, they're the most fun. Um, just looking a bit further. Yeah, there's another duck. So there's another duck and another dog. Depends how you look at it. So unconditional love, support, loyalty, commitment, protection. Person, place, or thing with a letter, with a letter J that's associated with that, like the, an individual, and it looks like a very happy scenario. There's another dog face. There's a lot of like a lot of unconditional love and protection, companionship, guardianship, whatever words or words you want to use with that whole like dog's man's best friend scenario. And there's definitely a lot of um, a lot of love. You have a letter L, so person, place, or thing, like the person with the letter L that's involved. Now we're heading right, right into the base itself. A lot of partnerships, a lot of working with other people. And please, everyone, keep in mind that this is like a very much a summary. I mean, we could sit here easily for an hour and a half. <laughs> yeah, we're coming up on 30 minutes right now, you guys. This is, and to me, this is like, to me, as a reading this, this is like, I'm saying like nothing there's just a lot of information but hopefully this is going to be helping some people um again it's this new there's new opportunities new opportunities number three i won't say it again i keep seeing the number three positive movement forward person plays your thing with the letter f the letter f that's involved like your person Going for whatever it is that you want to have, not being in, un, not feeling feeling uninhibited. New creative projects, creating new things. Now, whether this is again physical children or creative pursuits, that you're creating new things. Unconditional love, support, loyalty, commitment, protection, companionship, compassion, empathy, guardianship. Those qualities, from what I'm seeing, you have a huge dog's face here in the base. So, no, no, I will say sometimes people under pets do come through in TV reading, which sounds kind of odd, but it's true in my experience. So if someone had like a Scotty dog or a dog that looks like a Scotty dog, 
that they can also take that as a message or a sign from their Scotty dog who maybe has passed that yeah. that dog is coming through in the tea leaves because it's very clear to me that there's a Scott, like a Scotty dog or a dog that looks like one in the base. So that can absolutely be true for someone watching as well. hundred percent. Oh, dogs, animals come through a lot past animals for readings um, for people. Oh, with reassuring to know that they, you know, no one loves you like your dog mm -hmm. loves you. So, Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I'm just going to finish up here. Like you more time in the base. Abundance and prosperity that involves the people working with each other, most people working with each other. Letter E, harmoniousness with that scenario, very loving scenario. That's a theme. Keep seeing a lot of hearts this, this, this in this cup. It's really good. Just a lot of partnerships, like a lot of working with other people. Again, the letter S. Now, there may be someone who is, there most may be um, someone who is Libran or maybe even a Leo, but I would say more like the Leo, um, Libran, Libran or Leo, um, that is involved, who's a helpful individual, who cares for other people. So, letter S and or Leo and or Libran connection with that. I'm going to say like a lot of help, people helping each other. I keep seeing a lot of people with either children or people on their backs, like they're ca like helping each other, like they're carrying someone as well. Okay. I, I keep seeing that. And I, I, after a few times, I'm like, okay, there's children. Yes, there's children. But they're helping people. They're literally carrying children on their backs. So it's it's, it's a helping. Oh, Breeze Bree just walked back in. My dog. My dog. I think I'm going to leave it for there because that's that's mainly what I'm seeing for this month. Oh, hi, Dada. Well, I'm going to say for whoever, if this story is like really resonating with you guys, you can, and anybody, anybody, even if you, you nothing in this reading was for you, please go to the Sorry. That's okay because you can book a private reading with Sarah where she can go deeper into this and, and pull on you specifically um, and not just a general reading. That's mm -hmm. exciting. Like I, whoever this reading is for, like, I'm kind of jealous. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds good to me. And I mean, it could even be that even if it's not a new romance, it could be a current romance and it's just a really nice, good time. It could even just be referring to that. It, it, that's the thing with TV thing. I have never have any idea. I'm just relaying what I'm saying, but there's so and many Mag different ways it could go. Magdalene just said a rebirthing too. So it could mm -hmm. be um, a relationship that, you're revisiting maybe that, that could that ask, that's stopped beautiful. for whatever reason an ex that's come back and magdalene just said just listen to your gut your gut will tell you where to go absolutely that's a beautiful message thank you magdalene. It, it looks good i'm just gonna say one more time there's a lot of surprises there's a lot of surprises again look at the leaves there's a lot of <laughs> heavy groupings listen. whenever i see groupings i'm like there's a lot of surprises listen we love a surprise <laughs> <laughs> we love a good me we love a good, <laughs> good opportunity. I am just, I, I'm literally like, I am so happy for whoever. And it does sound like, I want to say just for me hearing her, it does sound like whoever story this is, it might feel, it sounds like you've been kind of stuck in stagnation and all of a sudden things are going to start happening and it might feel overwhelming and it might feel panicky. And I know for people who've had trauma, you might be waiting for the other shoe to drop. But I think what from what I'm getting is spirit is saying no, but it's not going to drop. Like this is it. Like just listen as Magdalene saying it's a rebirthing. Listen to your gut. The universe is always here to support you. I think we're so traumatized by what the controllers have done that we're always yeah. waiting for something bad to happen. But if you want your yeah. life to be a romantic comedy, guess what? It can be. You know, it's it love is be. out there, and there's abundance and limitless love. And you know, it could be. Mm -hmm. It kind of sounded too from what I was hearing, and it's going to resonate with people differently. That it might be for some people that a new romance and business opportunity might come and wrapped up into one. It might be. It yeah. absolutely could be. 
I know that's scary to think about like getting into a relationship with someone you're also working with, but who says well. those things are supposed to fail? It exactly. Might, might not, you it know, may, it might be great. And the rebirth makes sense without, with the Scorpio indications I kept seeing, I keep seeing references to Scorpio. So that makes complete sense with the rebirthing. Yeah. As so well. If, if there's, the I, I know some people are really adamant about not, um, not going back to an ex, you know, and I'm, I'm typically one of those people, but I've lately, I've been learning that there is forgiveness, there is rebuilding, there is change. And so if that's, that might be the rebirthing too, that the, a new, a, a old relationship with new beginnings might be starting as well. And so, um, mm -hmm. just listen to your gut, Magdalene, just cause it's going to be different for everybody. And this story could be 20 different people's story with different, um, oh. situations. So just listen to your gut and what your gut yes. is. Absolutely. Like I'm the one of the first people to say, like, do what you feel is right. And I told I've told this to clients multiple times throughout the years. I feel like the one thing that I'm supposed to say in this lifetime is just do what you feel is right for yourself. I'm not going to tell you what to do. That's the whole point of not that's not the point of, of having a reading in my own opinion experience that and, and, and someone who does reading is I'm not gonna tell you what to do. You do what you want to do. I'm just saying what I'm saying. That's literally all I'm right, doing. For what your gut already knows, you know, and that's and I that's why I think Magdalene loves you, by the way, Sarah. She keeps saying that she loves you. Oh, so does she? Does she yeah. really? Yeah, she keeps saying that. Yeah, and the, and she loves the oh, in, intensely you. protection that you said, intensely protective, because she, God, love all these higher ascended masters are t intensely protecting every one of us and intensely loving every single one of us. And they're 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 going to be there. So for everybody walking into this turbulent time we're in, um, you are intensely protected. That's why the darkness hasn't won yet. That's why yeah. I'm still alive. Yes, that's probably one of the reasons why I'm still alive. Like I didn't make it almost five years ago. Yeah, but they're they're not going to win. They're they're not going to win, and it's just as simple as that. Because they can't. They can't appreciate a good love story because psychopaths don't love. They use. No. They use it. They it's true. Love. Sorry. Brie almost knocked over my ring light. That's okay. <laughs> but we can have laughs about things. We love Brie. We love her. We, so. she, she's so cute. She And the people have been so sweet. So people sometimes, like, when, they, when, they, when they write to me, they're like, oh, Brie, I actually read, read for one individual. They're like, can I see Brie? I've only ever seen her tail. I'm like, yes, of course. Well, <laughs> I was saying I actually have to hop off soon because I have to run off. But my, uh, I was saying I was reading to my boyfriend. I was saying that I was reading this thing about with dogs they train for movies, and like oh, like, okay. like like a, a Game of Thrones when they would have the dogs and they would have to go into a battle scene. And the dogs were trained to go into battle that they always have to do CGI over their tails because oh, really the dog's face is trained to be serious. The tail's always wagging. <laughs> Because the tail so shows when the, when, the dog, when the dog is happy, it wags its tail. So all the dogs are so happy to be standing out there with all the humans that they have to see <laughs> dry their tails. Oh, that's funny. Oh, you know, I love it. I love it. <laughs> the toad is going crazy. That's so great. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I'll just say one more thing. I mean, there's a big tree at the base of this. So it's just a lot of unknowns. There's going to be a lot of conversations, a lot of thinking, a lot of like unknowns. But it looks really good. And it looks like there is definitely abundance forming. It's just, it's just, it looks like it's forming. There's a version of a tree, but it also looks like, like a, like a pentacle. So yeah. it's forming. It's just uh, not quite here yet, which makes sense. Cause we're not, it hasn't happened yet, but it looks really good. I'm so excited. Well, let us know guys in the comment Please. section if this resonates with you. And I just Please. like, I'm so happy for whoever this is or multiple people. It could be multiple people's stories or parts of it. I know, like, let us know you if you want to let us know, if you want to keep it private, understandable. Yeah, but if you totally. want more clarity, if you feel like this story was yours and you want more clarity, again, please go to Sarah's website. You can book a private. I'm, I'm going to have a reading with her soon myself um, because I, there's things I need clarity on too. And I just think you're amazing, Sarah. And I think your, your ability is, 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 because when I see tea leaves in the, in the cup, I just see tea leaves in a cup so <laughs> so the fact just takes practice <laughs> just takes some practice <laughs> read for me the first time on air to show people like you were hitting on sh the question i had asked um and you guys again that video will be down in the description box if you want to see it if you missed that and you want to see what a, a reading looks like before you you know so you have more understanding sarah didn't know the question i'd asked no. you know she just no. read it. she was hitting no. things that i had that that didn't make sense to her but made sense to me and no, so it, it, um, thank you yeah. yeah it never it never readings never make sense to me when i'm doing them for people i have no idea what people ask nor do i want to know because i mean you know, completely objective i don't want to know 
Yeah. It, it, it actually hinders me if I know in a way, because I'm inadvertently trying to connect the dots in my mind as I'm, as I'm yeah. reading it, but there's, there's, no, it's, it's good. If I don't know, Bree is, Bree is agreeing. She's playing that's, on the bed right now. But I'm up with my God mind. Wink. Yeah. <laughs> that's God wink. <laughs> well, you guys, please go and subscribe to Sarah and make sure that you look at her website. I think I've always said this before, you know, I'm always looking for gifts to give people like, you know, cool gifts. I mean that what a great gift to give someone a tea leaf reading. <laughs> like if you got a birthday coming up or a anniversary, or if you just want to be a good friend to someone, you know, um, and Sarah, I'm so excited. I want to actually introduce, you to more people and get you out there because i oh, think you're just a gift you. to this this world and we need true oh, you're me cry. good divinators out there that are not breaking the world you know you don't break the rules of free will you you don't read on people that don't have again guys that is a huge thing with divination you cannot if you if a divinator is willing to read on somebody without their permission whether mm. that person is a celebrity a politician or a private individual that's that speaks of the integrity of the reader and that is not yeah. good that is breaking no. the laws of consent no. so, um, like, people have seen in td fitting and i was no we have to quit and really soon but this is what i've said before in td fitting people do appear in td fitting i often see human forms that's one thing there's people involved there's helpful people around but i'm not reading them i'm only saying that because you're giving I'm their description people exactly that's it. yep you know there's no names and so um okay. I understand that people who are new to divination might come in and say, Hey, can you read on this guy? I like, but a good divinator will say, well, no, I can't because he's not here to give permission. Exactly. You know? And so, exactly. and so that is something that, that the universe takes very seriously for people yeah. who break the laws of consent. It's not the court system of this world. I would worry about, but the court system of the next. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Well said. So we love you, Sarah. And I am so oh, excited. I can't wait like to see whose story this is. I want to hear all about the oh, love story. I want to know if there's babies coming. I want to know what's going on. I just, lo I just love, I love a good romance. Like I love the word that you were. I'm going to have to bring Smooch back. The fact that you use the word. <laughs> love a good. Yeah, before I realized what I said, I'm like, oh, there's people smooching. Aww. Listen, and that's one thing about getting older. Sarah and I were born the same year coming into our 40s. I know how to kiss now. So <laughs> I think it's more enjoyable the older you get. So, more experience it comes with age, right? I was yeah. always pretty good at that. I, I've been told <laughs> I was always pretty good at that, but I'm getting red now. Anyway, we love a good <laughs> romance. I am so excited, you guys, boys and girls, whoever story this is for. I just, um, I, we love love and we love opportunities. We love when our friends and our fellow human beings who have yeah. souls are about to have an exciting moment. Like, we just love yes. that, you know? We're excited for them. We're Find happy. We want people everyone. to do well. Yes. And so if one of us is doing well, we're all going to do well. And so, um, happy. yeah, I'm happy. so excited for whoever's reading that. And let us know in the comment okay. section, though. Have you had a good makeout session lately? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to yeah. go, go. Well, actually, I have to go to my boyfriend's show after this. That's why I have to turn off and be like, <laughs> I'm smooching with him later. So <laughs> have a little smooch under the hat. <laughs> so anyway anyway all right you guys well we love you guys so much and um, um, follow um, sarah's subscription down or her channel and her website down in the description box below you guys thank bye, you everybody love you bye